learners welcome back to tech drone learning hub in this today's video we are going to discuss about java technology stack answers actually in previous video i asked you to comment what are your uh, paths chosen paths so so many of you commented java angular and python those three are remaining but they reached out the first comment as java so that i am doing java after this i will do an angular and after this i'll do on python i promise you that i will reach out with the answers before 25th of this month because 30th is our deadline so i will meet your expectations before 25th so you can revise all the things once so we have uh, to answer all these things to eligible for java technology stack so let let me write this exam first let me click on start and we can directly click on self assessment here to write our exam okay before going into exam first of all thank you for you all for your love and comments and response for the previous videos of infosys spring board 6.0 if any doubt arises in your brain please comment in the comment section i'll be more than happy to answer all of your comments now let me start answering all these questions and i'll pause the video after answering all these things hey guys uh, yeah we are back with answers now uh, really it's uh, have been one of my toughest exam writing this uh, because it took that time for me so yeah for my dedication and uh, the effort i'm keeping please like share and subscribe to tech brown learning hub guys hope you do all these things so yeah uh, remember one thing the questions might be jumbled from its order so please uh, make sure of you are keeping the perfect answers okay the first one is four option a maria option b and option c p q or s t zero system dot output dot print customer dot address dot get zip code option b c e and f option a option c and d total amount to be paid is 2685.5 28 compilation error as final method can be overridden option a b c and e option a and option d 20 70 0 welcome the code will result in a compilation error as the method add can't be accessed by the outside class instance variables 2 reference variables 3 objects 2 option c sum is equals to 18 a c and d alex comma space comma robert yeah we completed our test now let me click on finish test by click but clicking the button finishing test yeah we got 15 out of 25 guys uh, like 10 marks are gone it's okay because it's really very toughest exam first two times i have been failed in this exam so with that code and proper guidance i have again written exam it's okay if you get 15 also write this exam i highly recommend you to write these answers if you know the correct answers you can mark the correct answers okay there are no issues in that so let's go to the next because it would be a uh, bit difficult and grabs all my time also so i am directly going into introduction to no sql database so yeah i am directly writing the answers for this assignment it ca it has 15 questions 
so let me write the exam first here are our correct answers i am reminding reminding you again like um, the questions are jumbled okay don't keep the options as it is the questions are jumbled and answers remain same means if i have this set of questions there is uh, no need to get same set of questions in your page also the questions are jumbling from page to page okay now the first one answer is uh, a a is equals to 3 b is equals to 1 c is equals to 5 d is equals to 2 and e is equals to 4 column family stores column family stores and next one also that answer itself document oriented database key value relational databases high availability and partition tolerance but is not strictly consistent graph available write heavy graph based databases consistency and availability less scalable document oriented databases key value stores free based structures most of the non sql databases do not have integrated caching facilities here yeah, we have completed all our 15 questions so now let's check our marks yeah guys we got 13 out of 15 only two are wrong so happily you can answer all these things okay now let me write my next exam guys i'm not gonna tell answers of these two because it grabs my lots of time i answered this one dbms part one but i have failed in my exam with one mark if you need this exam please comment in the below section uh means i have failed in that exam right so if you want that answers i will give but i couldn't write again uh, i need to spend one hour so i am not writing dbms part one and part two exams so please uh, forgive me in that aspect and please search by yourself and write those exams okay now let me answer this exam La yeah this certification exam also i'm not gonna tell answers because in certification no one will get the same questions means infosys follows the big question bank rule in this certification exam means they will contain bunch of questions in their question bank in certification exam they will pick up random set of questions and give us in the certification exam so if i write the certification exam also there is no use because i'll get uh, one set of questions and you will get some set of questions so there will be no use for you same applies for all the things also i have uh, told in the previous videos that i will do certification exam answers also but i couldn't do i have reached this information table for yesterday itself by our subscriber one committee so yeah i'm not gonna do any uh, videos on certification exams so now what about this uh, software engineering means we have this uh, particular uh, video answers or course answers in our data visualization part two i will give that link in the description go through the data visualization part two video and find the answers of this specific course okay and now i'm not gonna give uh, certification answers and for time management also in data visualization part two we have written exam for time management also so go through the data visualization part two video and find out the answers for time management same for email writing skills and high impact presentations and uh, i'll get some in practice okay all these four set of courses are having in the data visualization part two course so 
i am not going to give answers in this specific video go to the description and check for the specific uh, course titles and go through that and answer all these things okay hope you understand now this is our last and final course we are going to answer in this java technology stack so we have let me see how many questions we have in the self assessment yeah we have 20 questions that is a good thing so yeah let me answer all these things now guys uh, all these exams are literally very tough for writing because all these are code based exams so yeah you are seeing just 15 to 20 minutes of video but behind that we all are hard working literally for hours and hours even for days also so please recognize our efforts for this video and like our video share and comment or subscribe guys so all these are free of cost right you can do it as a goodwill gesture for us so we'll be so happy by seeing all those subscribers or likes or comments getting for this video so please give that um, strength for us and please support us because this is a very new channel okay now let us see the answers for this one first one is top uh, points to bottom 24 25 10 and 18 order of n into n infosys will be displayed three times 13 points to 18 18 points to 34 34 points to 34 34 points to 46 2 friend points to rear 12 28 34 36 order of log n alex tom sam john jack a b c d e f a student details will have five key value pairs error array index out of bounds exception when the array contains only few elements a b c e d null big omega greedy approach four brands will be displayed one three four thirty four 5 and 15 51 3 0 equals to 1 1 equals to 1 2 equals to 1 3 equals to 1 4 equals to 1 and 5 also equals to 1 let me save this and proceed to the section click on the finish test to see our marks yeah we got 15 out of 20 literally this is also one of the very toughest exam you can absolutely write all the answers over here so yeah guys still you if you have any doubts or if you need any improvements from our side please feel free to comment in the below comment section definitely we will change ourselves to provide the best content for you if you have some suggestions you can provide in the comment section that's all for this today's video we have completed the java full stack or technology stack and these two answers uh, i'm not going to provide these two answers because it was taking literally hours of time if in case we got at least 20 to 30 comments like dbms part 1 and part 2 i'll try to do this also so for now i'm not going to do this so i already told where to find all the answers for email writing time management and high impact presentations go there and find out the answers 
that's all for this video guys see you in the video soon bye bye and take care